here. So we're introducing a brand new mount. Um, first off, we make a line of GoPro chin mounts for specifically for individual helmets. And this one is for the Nolan N72X. The difference between this and every other uh, mount that we've released, and by the way, we're, we're releasing this for our entire lineup of mounts, we've added on an additional lobe and this lobe allows you to mount a light upside down. One of the cool things that we do with our mounts is we uh, take into consideration the tip back angle. So when you're riding and obviously this is an ADD helmet, so you might be sitting down quite a bit more. Uh, but if you ever stand up on the bike and you're getting aggressive, uh, you're going to want to be able to tip the camera back uh, to an angle that's parallel with the horizon um, or like the train that you're riding over. So that way it's not um, pointed straight down and you stand up and then it's like all your bike and the five feet of the trail in front of you. Uh, and the mounts themselves are made out of a rubberized material. So this stuff can bend and twist, it's impact uh, resistant. Uh, you're really not gonna break it. This stuff is about as solid as it gets. We've run this over with a truck, uh, we've smashed it with sledgehammers, we've dropped bricks on it, uh, and the, the same mount was perfectly usable after all of that. So we're very confident in these, um, especially for off-road riding where you stand a chance of going flying over the handlebars. Um, you don't really have to worry about your mount breaking more your GoPro. But now for the exciting part, the light. This allows you to be able to see whatever you're looking at. So with ADV, you might be riding fire roads or backcountry windy roads. In any case, you're, you're going to want to be able to see into the corners. And this light is perfect for that. I mean, obviously this would work with a number of different lights. There's a bunch of different ones that have these standard GoPro mounting forks. We just tend to like these uh, because they're small and lightweight and they keep the battery um, off of the helmet. So it makes it uh, even lighter. You actually don't really notice the weight of the light um, on the helmet. Um, it's fully adjustable, so you could basically point that straight down. Uh, I like to keep it in line with the camera. Really, this is so that when you're riding at night, you know, you feel like the camera can see, you know, you get better night riding footage, but it also helps with riding as well because it gives you that second perspective. So lights that are mounted to the bike are pointed in the direction that the bike is going, which is not always where you're looking. It also shines horizontally across the terrain, which leaves a lot of shadows in all the dark areas, especially if you're riding over any kind of um, rocky terrain or any kind of terrain that has any dips along the horizon. You can't see what's in the low spots. And if you're standing up on your bike and you're looking down on the terrain, it fills in all of the gaps and allows you to see basically everything that's in front of your tire uh, in going forward. And it makes it a lot easier to ride at night. If you're riding an ADV bike through fire roads or back country windy roads even. Um, you can look further into the corner to kind of see what's there and that's really helpful when you're riding at night. And the nice thing about mounting it to the chin bar of the helmet uh, is that, as opposed to like mounting it on top, uh, is that you don't get a dark shadow that's caused by the visor. So at night, right, if, you're, if you mounted it up here, it would basically create um, a shadow in front of your bike that you, you wouldn't be able to see, which doesn't happen when you mount it to the chin bar, which is really nice. So there's a ton of added features to having the light mounted to the chin bar of the helmet, just like with the camera, gives just a better perspective of the train you're riding over if you're riding at night at all. That being said, if you don't want the night light, we are still offering our standard mount and you can buy that one. It's just not the light mount version. So the cool thing about this is that if you just left it hooked up, if you left the light on here, if you're riding all day long and you're riding into the evening, the mounts already, or the light's already set up, then you can just turn it on as it gets darker and you don't have to worry about um, digging it out of your backpack and just leave it set up as part of your, your helmet set up and you know, just ready to go. One of the things I wanted to point out real quick is that we also sell this 90 degree adapter. Um, and the unfortunate thing is that it's not compatible with uh, the night riding mount. Uh, and the reason is because we've run this screw in from the opposing direction that we run this screw in from. And when you were to mount, if you were to mount this camera sideways, uh, it would hit this screw, uh, which is something we haven't really figured out how to work around just yet. but. Uh, I think if you're riding at night, you're gonna find that the horizontal 
perspective of the terrain is probably better because it just gets more in frame as opposed to the social media frame, like the foam frame. That is narrower and you don't get as much kind of perspective on the terrain when you're riding at night, which can make it seem a little bit more jostling and a little harder to kind of understand what's going on. It's up to you, but uh, yeah, if you're riding at night with this mount, you're not gonna be able to run the 90 degree adapter. If you're riding during the day, however, you could run the 90 degree adapter without the light attached to it, or you could just use a different uh, 90 degree adapter. Actually, it just doesn't work with this particular one. While I'm on the topic of screw directions, uh, one of the things that we've done, uh, we've done this with all of our mounts, the standard mount and with the the light mount is that we've reversed the screw direction going in this direction. Normally, uh, GoPro accessories have the screw going in this direction, and even with the media mod, the screw cutout was meant to go through this direction. The reason that we've done it the opposing way is because the battery door is on this side. When you go to flip it up, the screw head gets in the way. It actually works out in both both ways because all the electronics for the media mod are on this side. It's actually easier to get your thumb on the, uh, the screw from this side than it is to get it on from this side uh, because you don't have that extra thickness. The screw goes in from the opposing side of the knurled nut. So you're gonna notice here there's a knurled nut on this side. The screw goes through this way. And the reason I mention this is because a lot of times what happens is uh, you know people will get these mounts and they'll put it in from the same side as the neural mount. Especially if you're used to normal GoPro accessories, right? They go in this direction, you screw it into the neural nut. Well, one thing that's going to happen is that it's not going to tighten down because it doesn't have the ability to pull through and actually pinch the forks. And if you tighten it down too much, uh, you're just going to twist the knurled nut out and you're going to pull it out of the mount completely, which has happened on numerous occasions, which is why I'm mentioning it now. What we've done is we've actually started screwing the screw through this direction. This is the way it's supposed to go through, is opposing the opposing side of the knurled nut so that way it doesn't pull out and it can actually tighten down against the GoPro mounting forks and keep the GoPro from um, flopping around. So when it comes to mounting these mounts, uh, what you're gonna want to do is first off, figure out where the helmet or where the mount goes. In this case, it's really obvious because the mount really can only go in one spot, but in some cases it's not so obvious. So put the mount uh, up to the helmet, figure out where it's supposed to go. Uh, we're going to supply you with uh, alcohol cleaning pads Clean the surface of the helmet, um, just make sure you get all the oils and dirt off. Then you peel off these backings from the 3M tape on the back. And then you can pull back on these mounting wings a little bit. You don't want to put the mount in too far. You want it to go right in the right spot where it was intended to go, which is basically its resting position. And then just press it down all the way around and it should be good to go. Uh, the reason why you don't want to pull these back too far and try to mount it on further is it may get too close to the helmet and affect your tip back angle. So just, you want to mount it in its resting state right where it's supposed to go and you should be able to find that on the helmet. So, there you go. Solid, good to go. So here I have mounted up the non-light version. Right, this is the light version here. This one just only allows you to mount up the GoPro uh, or the light, uh, you could mount this right side up like that. The last thing I want to talk about uh, is just why GoPro mounting on the chin bar as opposed to anywhere else in the helmet. So the few reasons why we decided to do this, as opposed to mounting it on top of the helmet, uh, mounting it to the chin bar is basically the lowest possible point of view that you can get without uh, mounting it to your chest or something like that. It gives you the lowest possible perspective on the terrain while still being connected to your head. You get that first person point of view and allows you to uh, get just better perspective on the terrain. So with a GoPro, with these more fisheye lenses, the closer you get to the ground, the better perspective you're gonna have the terrain you're riding over. So if you're riding over rocks or something like that, it's gonna look more realistic if you have it on the chin of your helmet as opposed to on the top of your helmet. The other thing uh, is if you're doing any kind of motor vlogging or something like that, it is right in front of your mouse so you do get better audio pickup, especially with these media mods. Wait, and there was oil leaking out of here. Where? Here? What, wasn't there? When you when you punched yeah, it? Yeah, I punched it here. And that I was did it again. just now, huh? Yeah. Uh, and the last thing I like about it is that 
uh, it keeps it centered to your point of view, so as opposed to it being mounted to the side of your helmet where it just kind of feels off. It'll keep it centered and it'll keep it protected uh, as opposed to like the side of the helmet or the top of the helmet. If you catch a tree branch or something like that, you may lose your GoPro altogether or it may tip your GoPro back and then you just, you don't know that you're wasting all that time recording, not actually filming anything. We also have gotten a lot of questions about how our mounts are mounted to the helmet. So we use a double-sided sticky tape, it's a 3M, uh, basically the same stuff that GoPro uses for their mounts. We've weight tested a lot of these and a lot of them hold like up to 45 pounds before they fall off, um, which is like a full five gallon bucket of water, which is pretty crazy. So they're very well secured, they're waterproof, you don't have to worry about them falling off. Um, they're just very well secure. The tape on these are basically one-time use, and what we're doing is we're using a Gorilla Clear Grip uh, rubberized glue. Because it's a flexible glue, we put the glue on, and then we put the tape on to glue the tape to the mount, and that makes sure that the tape is very well secured to the mount, and it keeps it from falling off. But that being said, we do sell replacement tape, and if you want to replace the tape on your helmet, if you want to peel it off for some reason and then put it back on later, you will need to buy buy the uh, Gorilla Clear Grip glue to glue it on. We've experimented with a bunch of different glues. I don't know why, but that glue seems to work really well with these rubberized mounts uh, to make sure that the uh, tape doesn't fall off. So just real quick, I wanna talk about what you're gonna get when you buy one of our mounts. Uh, obviously you're gonna get a mount, uh, whether it's the light mount or the regular mount, it just depends. We do have installation in a warranty card, so hang on to this. Um, the QR code just to, goes to our product help page if you have any questions uh, with installation or any product information, you can find that there. And um, it's also the, the warranty card as well. So our mounts come with a lifetime warranty for any reason it breaks or something happens and you need a replacement, just let us know and we'll send you a new one, no questions asked. You're gonna get a bunch of cool stickers, so we just got our new Wannabe's Mobcast, which is our podcast sticker. Super cool, you should check that out, where we interview a bunch of cool uh, hard enduro racers, uh, like Graham Jarvis and Cody Webb and all of the big names. Uh, you're gonna get our main sticker, and then you're gonna get the sticker, which uh, it's okay, I'm the guy who's behind the camera right now. <laughs> Uh, his daughter drew this uh, for us and we turned it into a sticker and uh, it's just a cool thing. We're gonna supply you with two alcohol cleaning pads uh, and a screw. And uh, if you buy the 90 degree mount, it'll come with two extra screws, so. Check out these chin mounts. Uh, we'll put links to the description, uh, links in the description below to our chin mounts on our website. There we go. Check out our Instagram page, uh, which we'll also link to. That has like clips of us riding. And uh, if you want to get a kind of an idea of what the perspective looks like with one of our mounts, you can see that. If you like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if we don't have the mount, uh, at this point we have like, I don't know, 70, maybe coming up on 80 different chin mounts. If we don't have a chin mount, uh, also, uh, comment that in the comment section below and um, we'll put it on our list to make sure that we get that mount done. I think that is everything. Thank you.